Uh, let's talk about the braking. So from the very beginning, guys, there's four main leg locks that you want to get good at. Straight ankle lock, toe hold, knee bar, heel hook. There's a few other ones. There's calf crushers and all that stuff, but we'll act like those aren't in the top, the hierarchy. The, the best, I mean, the most, the easiest one to break someone's legs is the heel hook. The second dangerous, I think, is the knee bar because it's a knee submission. Ankle locks and toe holds as a beginner. Those are your best ones. Ankle locks, toe holds. Because you can do them in tournaments, and if you mess up and crank too hard or you don't tap in time, it's not going to hurt you that bad if you don't let them destroy it. Heel hooks and knee bars are really dangerous, so that's why they're kind of outlawed at the lower stages. And in practice, you got to respect those a lot and just get ready to tap, okay? So let's just talk about just general mechanics here. If I'm going for an ankle lock in any position, I'm going to make sure my arm is not way up on the calf. I'm trying to slide back until these three inches of my bony part of my forearm is right in his Achilles tendon, which is those three inches. Okay, so anywhere I can be here is going to be good. When I clamp, I'm always going to cinch my elbow to my body, and the whole goal for all ankle locks is the height of my wrist. If I'm down here, look how much I'm not cranking anything yet. When I'm here, look, that's the whole difference. And you guys can just see it from here. I don't even have my legs involved. But if I'm here, nothing. If I'm here, look, he's like, ah, already. So in any ankle lock, always make sure you get your hand in the right spot and keep your hand high and support it with your other hand. There's a lot of different kind of grips you can do, but the general idea, bone on bone or tendon, high wrist, clamping tight. So for an Ashi, with all that being said, the foot on the hip, guys, is what's keeping him anchored to the floor when I attack and finish this. So I need one of my feet on his hips. Okay, so from Ashi, this one's here. If he was to push that off, he's beating my ankle lock. The only other way to get this back is to go here. And I can still do it. But you have to have something pushing off the hip for any ankle lock. If you're ever trying to do an ankle lock from here, you'll never get it. Unless the guy's just afraid. Ah, they'll, they won't tap to this because you're not pushing their hip. Notice how when I crank on his ankle, watch what he does to react. He raises his hip. That takes pressure off. So we need something anchoring it down. Now, once you have it, here's some mechanics that are going to make it really painful. The high wrist is the first one. He can feel it already. And I can feel it in my form. But now watch this. I'm going to tuck my elbow underneath me and put my shoulder where my elbow is. Okay? Now my forehead's on the mat. I'm going to go belly down on this. It's already really, really tight. I'm going to back it off just a little bit so I can at least move to show my hips. When you go to do this, guys, your hips are going to come in as you crank this, okay? My hips driving in and me looking over my shoulder and keeping my lock where it's at is going to put a lot of pressure, okay? And that was me taking a little bit off. Watch it when I get it all high, foot in, I tuck. Look, he's already having to tap just from getting into position. And if I wanted to, I'll let go. The goal with any of these leg locks is to get to where it's about to break before you try to break it. So all that added up to having a lot of tension on his leg, and I could have done this, or even gone like belly down on it. So the goal, test it first with just your lock. High hands, thumb high. If he's doing that, you know you got your hand high. Connect, you can let him put his hips back in. Keep your hands high, you can scoot yourself back in. Now it's tuck under, fall, the pressure's on. This, guys, what that does is I'm putting weight onto his foot. High, a lot of pressure. When my body weight goes onto it, a lot of pressure's on it. And now I go belly down with my hips and it's really tight. Feel good, Alan? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna be able to do that. Feel, give your partner feedback on that one, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's just practice that for a few minutes, and I'll do the next, I'll just keep adding some in. Here's the thing, if you're newer, don't even worry about heel hooks or knee bars yet. Get good at the finishing of the ones that are legal for you, and then you know, build from there, but 
If you try to get all the braking mechanics all at once, it'll kind of throw you off. So pick one or two and uh, stick with them. We'll just all drill ankle lock right now. Ready, one, two, three.